Kuchikas9 says, here's an idea. Groups could gather together in homes or public places to readings. The Dream of Scipio, a novel by Ian Pierce to show how Hypatia's Neoplatonic philosophy helped three men in three very different times and circumstances to deal with moral dilemmas that had no easy right solutions is thought-provoking. The idea of getting people together to read is a good idea. Um, however, you do have to organize it, so good luck with that. Scarlet Pookie says, I suggest rather than save a book, which though nice doesn't accomplish that much, uh, it should be a donate a science book to a school. This way it's helping to spread knowledge and helping out the hard pressed schools. Let's see, Practical Magic 9 says, I might suggest that this was to last for all of Lent. It would culminate with Easter instead of the time ending with a resurrection. I think the lights should be extinguished somehow, symbolizing the dark ages that entered as a result of her death and the burning of the libraries. Uh, let's see, Johnny Canuck says, actually the latest scientific skeptic magazine was pointing out she was a mathematician and a neoplatonist and not a scientist as scientific methods had not yet been invented. Very, very true actually, but it was the closest thing to science that we had back then. They still had engineers and to the point where they had steam power using math, so it was the closest thing to science they had back then and given time they probably would have developed the uh, scientific method possibly in the next 100 to 100 years. Probably one final note about Hypatia is she is more of a Robin Hood style figure. A, a lot of myth has been centered around her. A lot of things that were involved with her was almost more political than anything. But the idea of that in and it of itself, the loss of secularism, it, which is what she was a symbol for, also led to the loss of science. And that is exactly what the problem is. There's been a lot of issues people have had with using Hypatia as a martyr for science and she was definitely a martyr for progressive thinking as well as free thinking and uh, secularism as well as women's issues. So maybe not science per se, but after the dark ages when science arose it suddenly became the whipping boy of the anti-secular groups, the uh, fundamentalist and extremist groups. So. 
science just now falls into the idea of secularism. Rome was a very secular society at the time. The entire Roman Empire was very secular, and they only really went after severe troublemakers. Using science, science is, is a natural part of secularism, and it is counter to extremism. So, um, on that note, have a happy Hypatia Day, and continue to think.